Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andrew and today we're going to see something very basic. Basic because everyone, every coder needs this because it's used everywhere. We're going to see the if condition. Now I had this idea of making this video because someone asked me on an old tutorial where I made a node to the rotate, how to make it start and stop by clicking a button. Now it is pretty easy to make that thing work but actually uh, on the comment section writing it it looked like difficult to understand because I mean you need to understand basically the if condition before doing that just to make you understand the basic functionality of it and this way you can start actually making your little things by yourself now first of all what is an if condition like you can imagine the word says it is a condition to be checked uh, if the condition is satisfied it's true something is going to happen and we can change variables or make things happen you know run th things if the condition is true i have two variables i have a variable called rotate and it's set to false and i have a variable a set to 10 in the if condition to check if something is true or something is equal to 10 for example you need double equal signs here we have the if world rotate that is the name of the variable and double equal sign to check if it is true now what happens if this condition is going to be true we're going to print this thing but only if the condition is true probably something else that you won't make happen is to check if something is not true in this case we're going to use the exclamation uh, sign and an equal and we're going to check if it is not true and we're going to make things happen another thing that you may want is to check more if conditions you know you can make it this way you can write it if a equals to 19 if a equals 9 this can't be true actually <laughs> because if it is 19 it can be 9 <laughs> if rotate equals to false then you do something if you want to, to write it in just a row you can use operators like and or this this double double signs here or this double bars here and you can write it if rotate equals to true and a equals to 10 i used here the and word and you can do stuff we can actually make things happen only if one of two conditions is true so that is done using the word or so basically if a equals 10 or a equals 5 you're going to do something. Let's say it, I'm going to make this uh, not to the rotate by clicking on, um, on a button and stopping if the button is pressed again. It is pretty basic and you need to use signals. Now we have a toggle button. If you check this checkbox uh, in the inspector, it is going to be a toggle button. So basically it's going to give you true and false when, when it's toggled. You select the button, go to node and actually connect one of these signals to the main script. Now to connect a signal, you just need to double click it and just select the node where the script is. Okay guys, we are now finally inside our main script. And if you remember from school, functions actually have arguments. And in this case, arguments means that we have some information passed by our button when it's clicked. And this information passes to us with this name, button pressed. And if it is clicked, it's going to be true. And if it's unclicked, it's going to be false. And we're going to set the rotate variable directly to this button press argument. We're going to make rotate the node to D under the delta function, just if the rotate variable is true. So if rotate is true, we're going to make this happen just press tab here and that's all basically we have it working it is stopped it is working it is stopped as well it is working again and so on but since i don't like that much that button because it kind of highlights when you click it and i don't like that way i just want the button to stay you know static <laughs> i just made another button connected this button again to our main script and i connected this time not the toggle signal but the press signal like you can see if on switch is pressed and here i put some if conditions if rotate equals to false then 
make rotate true and else. What means else? If rotate is actually true when it's clicked, then make it rotate false. The else condition, I didn't mention it, but actually you can use else as well. It's not working, it is working, it is not working. It's pretty funny actually to make these little things. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you are a beginner, please leave a comment down below and maybe you can suggest some new tutorials. If I know something that I can explain, I'm going to explain it. You can understand it that I'm not a good teacher and I'm not a high advanced level. I'm just a beginner like you and I'm still learning. But anyway, hopefully this helped you and see you next time. And more important thing, Keep making games! <laughs>